Welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes in-depth character review and backstory. I'm being joined by Mike, who will provide the expert analogy of said character as he relates to the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes universe. And I, VGW, will be doing the backstory of said character. But without further ado, let's get this started. Savage the Savage Opress was once a common knight brother, whose fighting prowess impressed Asajj Ventress. Transformed into a monstrous warrior by Mother Talzin, Opress became Count Dooku's new assassin and secret Sith apprentice. His loyalty, however, remained to Mother Talzin. The Knight Sisters' leader gave Savage a new quest to find his brother, Darth Maul, who had somehow survived his apparent death and was living in exile in the Outer Rim. Savage located Maul and became his brother's enforcer in the Shadow Collective, but died when Darth Sidious confronted the two Sith warriors on Mandalore. Savage Opress has four attacks and abilities, first of which is Staggering Blow. Uh, with Staggering Blow, deal physical damage to target enemy with a 50% chance doubled on a critical hit to inflict defense down for two turns. Um, so one of the things obviously there to, to make note of is doubled on a critical hit. If you're running him under Annihilus, that part isn't gonna happen. His ability at seven um, increases the damage. Well, basically they all increase the damage, even the Omega that it increases the damage on it. On, on it? <gasps> I'm sorry, mate. On him. Staggering blow. Wallop. A knight brother from Dathomir, Savage Opress proved himself in combat against Asajj Ventress, who was seeking a warrior to use against Count Dooku. Savage agreed to serve Ventress on the condition that she spare the life of his brother, Pharaoh. His second ability is Overpower. And uh, to quote a British advert, well, I say British, it might be global. It does what it says on the tin. Deal physical damage to target enemy and gain critical chance up for two turns on a finishing blow. If the target has 25% health or below, this attack deals massive damage and can't be evaded. That's up to ability level seven. At a, if you pop, it's an Omega on here. Um, if the target has 50% health or below, this attack deals massive damage and can't be evaded. Uh, yeah, so basically he will splat anyone doesn't matter if they've got uh, foresight or anything if he can see it well if he can if he can target them i.e. he's not taunt controlled um, it's a done deal overpower that's what it says mother Talzin's cruel magic transforms Savage into a massive hate-filled, dark side warrior. On Ventress's orders, he killed the brother he had fought to save. Talzin brought Savage to Count Dooku, who trained him ruthlessly in the ways of the Force and sent him on missions to Devaran and Toydaria. His third ability is Pain is Weakness. At ability level seven, Sith allies gain 60% defense and all other allies gain half that amount. Does have an Amiga for that as well, and the Amiga um, boosts it a bit. Sith allies gain 75% and 30% tenacity. Other allies gain half those amounts. <laughs> it's not too bad a lead. Unfortunately, he's Sith and he's surrounded by leads which you're gonna opt for. Um, personally I may have run him as lead once or twice uh, just to see what it was up like but uh, 
I don't think you're getting him for his leadability. That's not really what this guy is about. Ventress invoked the spells binding Savage to the Night Sisters and joined forces with them in an effort to kill Count Dooku. In the battle, Savage broke away from both force users, rejecting their efforts to control him. He returned to Mother Talzin, who sent him into the Outer Rim to find his lost brother, Darth Maul. His fourth and final ability is his unique, which is Brute. And I believe this is one that has a Zeta. So for Brute, whenever a Sav Savage takes damage, he gains defense up and defense up for one turn and has a 50% chance to gain 30% turn meter. At the end of his turns, Savage dispels all debuffs on a random other Sith ally and gains those debuffs for one turn. So this makes him a cleanser. This is kind of... He, but, so, I think you get it. He takes whatever a random Sith has, buff, uh, debuff-wise, takes him on himself. So you might see him, he's standing there, he's fine, but a Sith next to him is stunned. And then as the turn comes in, he's stunned for one turn, then dispels it and moves on. It's a, it's a good way of trying to lock him down is if you've got a load of stunners that can just kind of stun the stun one of the squad and you kind of you don't negate him as such but you do yeah you do keep him out of the game for a bit with the Zeta um, the blurb at the beginning of course is the same I'll just run through it though whenever Savage takes damage he gains a fence up and defense up and heal over time for two turns and gains 30% turn meter. At the end of his turns, Savage dispels all debuffs on a random other Sith ally and gains those debuffs for one turn. Dispel all debuffs from Savage when he is critically hit. So he's a cleanser. He's, he's the Sith cleanser. And... Um, yeah it just takes place which is why he is so good with Darth Maul and also uh, he's fantastic with Darth Maul but he's also proving from what I can see very effective with a Nihilus lead as well because you might find that your Nihilus is being targeted they want to take him out as quickly as possible and of course the one thing is is that I know I'm talking about Nihilus what on a Savage but yeah um the 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 facility the ability to remove the buff or the debuffs just frees up your nihilus or any other tune there um yeah it, it's great do it do it Savage served as Maul's right hand as the former Sith apprentice created the Shadow Collective and tried to take control of the galaxy's criminal underworld, but Savage fell in battle against Darth Sidious. As he died, Mother Talzin's magics faded, leaving behind his natural body. So, in summary, uh, Savage is, is a great character. He's he's not a universal character so he's not going to get graded rated as highly as maybe other characters are in game however if you run sith then then he he really is he's worth his head in gold which it kind of looks like it is um vgw of course is providing all the backstory here so so you'll know um a lot more about him on that um he's mr goldtop to me and he's fabulous he he can one hit he works great in conjunction with other tu tunes tunes so sith assassin and savage Press make a fantastic double act she shocks steals half their health and allows for Savage to just wallop with his overpower, they're gone. 
Um, he's cleansing as well. He hits pretty hard under a Nihilus lead. He's pulling, this is based on a gear 11. He, he can pull in like 14,000 health still. So he lasts, he has last ability. Um, of course he has an Achilles heel. Virtually every character in game has, has an Achilles heel. Uh, I covered that a little earlier, which is that if you can shock and provide and put loads of debuffs down on the other members of the squad, he'll be taking those on, which does kind of nullify him to, to a certain amount. But, as I say, if you're running Sith, then I really, really would recommend that you look at and and get yourself a, a Savage Opress. Definitely worth it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the end of this character review, as well as backstory on Savage the Savage Opress. Mike and I hope you guys are enjoying this series, and we will continue improving it with each and every single video. So if you do like it and you have any suggestions, feel free to let us know in the comments of our videos. And don't forget to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to either of our channels, make sure to check the other's channels out. And if you enjoy their content, feel free to subscribe to them as well. But that being said, that's going to be the end of this video. We hope you guys enjoyed that video. And until next time, enjoy yourself.